So facial serums seem to be flooding beauty aisles everywhere. Thankfully, our resident beauty expert, Michelle Phillips, is here to let us know if adding this extra step to our beauty routine is really worth our time and investment because they can be a little costly too. They can be, yep. I know what your answer is going to be though because I know you and you say yes to serums. Absolutely and it's worth it and uh, so many times I've been here and I've mentioned serums and every single time everybody's like what are serums, what are serums? So I decided to do an entire segment okay. on serums because they're really important. First of all serums give your skin an extra boost Okay. and you use them before you apply your moisturizer. I think of them like a treatment so you purchase serums based on what skin care concerns you have. Okay, so what are the most common ones that serums typically treat then? Yeah, so most common are first of all like acne, um, aging, and then also skin texture, okay. um, also uh, wrinkles for for example, but can hyperpigmentation. <laughs> Actually, okay. and what I brought, okay. with the exception of a couple, I honestly use these in my own beauty yeah. repertoire because I use them based on what I need okay. at that time. And the other thing to remember is that serums have a smaller molecular structure. So they can actually penetrate deeper into the skin than a regular moisturizer, which sits on the surface. Okay. So they are very, they're very, uh, more potent when okay. they're ingredients and more powerful. So first of all, I was gonna talk about acne, but also acne and aging, because a lot of times we have acne mm -hmm. even when we're adults and you know, we're getting older, mm -hmm. plus we still have so acne. It's all in one. It is. It's like, <laughs> I need the most benefits exactly. in one. <laughs> exactly. So what I have here in these two uh, specific serums are, they, they basically have glycolic acid, lactic acid, salicylic acid, and kojic acid. Okay. Now these are all natural acids. It's not like putting know, acid you, on your you face. Hear the word acid and you go, ooh. No, no, what it is, is they're all um, natural citric acids that are used to help speed up exfoliation in the skin. And as we age, our skin um, slows down that exfoliation process. So by speeding it up, you actually build collagen and elastin. Plus, these acids help keep your pores clean and clear so that you have less breakouts. Okay. So I use this one specifically when I'm getting a little okay. breakout and I need a boost. Vitamin C, I feel every single person needs to incorporate in their skincare routine hands down, even my daughters that are in their early 20s use vitamin C. It, um, not, it's a powerful antioxidant, so it really protects your skin from the elements. Uh -huh. It also helps repair sun damage. It helps build collagen and elastin. So we're using this serum with this serum? Well, what I would do is when you're getting breakouts, you use okay. the break, that one. Vitamin C, I would use every single day, except for maybe the days that you're getting more breakouts, then you could use your salicylic okay. acid. But vitamin C helps uh, with acne as well. So if you have a milder case of acne, which my girls do, that's why okay. we all use that. Now, as we're old, getting older, we want to include peptides. Um, there's things like growth factors, and they're not human growth hormones. Yeah growth factors, um, vitamin C and E, and then retinols. And so there's a couple different, you know, ingredients there to keep in mind for reparative. And so this I call Spanx for the skin. This is, <laughs> I swear to sold. God, this is awesome. <laughs> okay. um, but what it does, it has peptides, which we know really help, okay. uh, help repair and build your skin up. Vitamin C, it has retinol in it, um, copper uh, tripeptide growth factors. And what these do is they really really help repair your skin. They help give you that youthful glow, hydration, exfoliation, all of it in one. So this is more of like a texture kind of thing yep. that you were talking texture, about with the skin? Texture, hydration, okay. and then also just to give yourself a really beautiful glow. And this is something that I use um, sometimes during the day underneath my makeup if I really mm -hmm. want kind of that yep. really nice glow. But at night is when I use it before, yeah. typically. Because at we've, night is when your skin repairs itself. We have less than 30 seconds. Okay. What is your take home for serums and making sure that you get the right one that you need for your... I think that you really want to make sure if it's anti-aging, you look for retinols. Okay. If it's vitamin C is good for every day and then the glycolics for the acne. Okay. Those are really the three main things. But really research it and see okay. what's best for you. And visit your 
dermatologists because typically they carry the best ah, serums on the market. They, I was just going to ask where. Okay, yes. good to know. And yes. as always, Michelle loves your questions too. You can yes. check her out online too. Yes. So. MichellePhillips.com. We love you. You're a part of our team. Thank, Thank you, you, Michelle. You're